What's up everybody, this is Yael and today we are going to draw Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Okay, so today we are going to draw Cancer Cell Ken Kaneki. If you'll check the description box, you can see all the materials I'm gonna use for this tutorial with Amazon product links. Now, as you can see, I started by drawing a perfect square. Each side is 9 centimeters, but you can use any size you want to, just make sure to use a suitable paper size to keep the size relation. Okay, so this is gonna be a frontal pose. I'm gonna start by drawing the shape of his face. We'll start with the jaw and then go all the way up, just drawing the shape of the head. Next, I'm gonna take this ruler and I'm gonna mark a line. This is gonna be a guideline to help us keep the right proportions of the eyes. Okay, so we are going to start with the right eye. As you can see, it's in the shape of a parallelogram. Next, we'll give some thickness to create the eyelashes. And I'll draw the eyelid just by drawing two lines and we'll give some thickness to create the upper eyelashes as well. Next, I'm gonna draw the iris and the pupil and we'll draw three lines around the pupil. Now, as you can see, I draw some veins, but ignore that part, cause later on I'm gonna use a red color pencil for that. So just skip this process. Awesome, I'm gonna add some wrinkles below the eye. And now we'll draw the left eye. So we are going to draw the left eye a bit bigger, again, because of the cancer cell. So it's not gonna be identical, but it's the same process, okay? Four lines to create the eye. Next, we'll give it some thickness to create the eyelashes. Then we'll draw the iris at the center. Again, at the pupil and three lines around it. Now we are going to draw his cut below the eye. And the next, we want to draw those veins. So as you can see, first I'm starting with the head of the veins, and then I'll just spread it on his left cheek. It doesn't have to be exactly the way I do it, you know, it's veins, you can draw it a bit different. Just make sure to keep it on the left cheek. And I'm gonna add some lines to the cut. A few corrections here and there. And we are done. So now we can move on to the right eye. And again, we'll just draw some veins right below the eye on his left cheek. Awesome. Next, we'll draw the nose. I'm gonna start with a line right at the center of the square. I'm gonna pull it all the way down and then we'll draw the nostrils simply by drawing two commas. As you can see, they are placed in the middle of the bottom rectangle. Next, we'll draw the mouth right below. So his mouth is gonna be a bit open. And we'll add the upper teeth and one more line to create the bottom lip. Awesome, next we'll draw the neck simply by drawing two curved lines. And now we'll move on to the hair. So for the hair, I'm gonna use only curves. We'll start with the middle. And as you can see, I'm just going free right there, drawing the locks of hair with different directions, kind of create that messy look to the hair and just gradually add more locks of hair with different sizes. Okay, make sure not to do the same locks of hair with the same size, just to get some variations, some interest to the hair and once again, make sure to draw him curved, okay? We don't want to see a straight line. That's not a wavy, nice hair. It's not the look we are after. 
Now before we continue I'm gonna add the ear just like that and then we cover it a bit with the hair And I forgot to mention, but if you want, you can use this guideline, okay, to keep the right proportions of the hair. So just draw a nice circle, and that way you can use it as a guide. And we are doing the same process again, adding some locks of hair, trying to get that messy look. We'll add the right ear, of course, and then cover it with some more hairs. And if I may add a dead joke, we got here a hairy situation. That was lame. Awesome, so we are done with the hair and now we can draw the torso. So first I'm gonna pull two lines on each side, then two more lines to create the shoulders. Now I'm gonna add a half of a circle to create the color of his shirt. We'll add one more underneath. And next we'll add some creases and the tears on his shirt as well. Let's add one more tear right there, just uh, on the shoulder. Here I drew the neck muscles but I watched the episode and they didn't seem to draw it so ignore that part as well, ignore that part. What you don't want to ignore is the corrections I did for the color and the veins. Okay so we're gonna add some veins to the neck as well and as you can see it looks like some lightning okay so make sure to break the lines okay you don't want to draw a straight line. Think about it as uh, roads on the map. Awesome! So we are done with the sketch and now we can move on to the inking process. So for the inking process I'm gonna use a 0.1 or a 0.2 black pen and I'm just gonna rotate the page, hold the pen with a firm grip. I recommend to hold it at the tip of the pen and just go all over the lines using my natural hand movement. If you suck at inking don't worry about it because I sucked at inking so bad when I first started and uh, I got the hang of it you know over the years with some practice so don't get discouraged by that just keep doing it. And what do you know? We did the inking, it's all nice and before we start with the coloring phase we need to clean it really well. So for that I got the notorious charcoal eraser, you can use the regular eraser if you want and I also use the exquisite eraser stick for those stubborn areas. Make sure to do a fine job of erasing because you don't want to smear the lead with the Copic markers it will ruin your drawing so clean it very well. Awesome! So once it's clean we can start to use the Copic markers. So as you can see I gathered all the Copics I need for this tutorial. However you don't have to use Copic markers I know those are expensive. You can use color pencils, you can use cheaper markers or you can just use your regular HB2 pencil and do some shading. That's what I did 
a lot before I had Copic markers and it helped me improve my coloring skills, so don't worry about it. And now, let's continue. So I'm gonna start with the hair. We use gray tones for that. I'm gonna start with the brightest one, that's C1. And just gonna color with the direction of the hair, okay? I'm gonna repeat it along this tutorial. You want to color with the direction of the shape. In this example, you got the hair, so I'm gonna color with the direction of the hair. That will help us create a nice 3D look, okay? You want to give some depth to the drawing. Next, I'm gonna use C3, that's a darker gray. And for this drawing, the light source will come from the right side, okay? The main light source, which means the left side of his face will be darker. So I'm gonna use C3 and I'm gonna color the left side. Awesome, next I'm gonna use C5, yeah, that's a darker gray. And we'll add some more shade. Again, with the direction of the shape. Awesome, the next phase is a blending. So what we're gonna do is take the brightest color, which is C1, and we'll blend it with C3, the mid-tone. Next, we'll use the mid-tone, C3, and we'll blend it with the darkest tone, C5. Here and there you can see I do some adjustments, so for example I'm using C5 again to add some more shade right there. And then after that I'm gonna do some more blending. Awesome, so we're pretty much done with the hair and now we can move on to the eyes. So first I want to color the eyeball. I'm gonna use a purple grayish tone. Again if you don't have that just use the gray tone you used for the hair same effect. Next I'm gonna use the colorless blender and I'm gonna use it to soften those edges. Then I use a darker tone for the edges and then blend it with the brightest tone and with the colorless blender. Next we'll color the, pay attention to this, lacrimal Carnesl, car, carunsl. Lacrimal caruncle. The lacrimal caruncle. Okay, just color that part. I'm gonna add some shade with the darker stone. And a slight blending. And I'm gonna use the colorless blender to soak some of the ink. That way I can create a nice highlight. This is another tip you can use. Awesome, and now we can color the iris. So we'll use two separate tones. I'm gonna start with BG23, and then use BG34 to add some shade. And next we'll use YG03. And we'll add some shade with BG93. In case you don't have those colors, just use a darker green. We'll do some blending, of course. And now we can use the color pencil to create those veins in the eye. So we'll just use a red color pencil and again draw some roads on the map.
awesome we are done with the right eye his left eye for the wise ones and we can move on to the left eye so we're gonna color the left iris with the same colors but reverse Awesome! Next, I'm gonna color the eyeball with some purple. Just fill this entire area. And with the same tone, I'm gonna add more layers to create more shade, just on the edges. Next, I'm gonna use a dark gray and I'm gonna add some more shade to those edges. And we'll take the colorless blender again and soak some of the ink to get a um, a bit of a brighter tone. I'm gonna color the lacrimal caruncle again. And we are done with the eyes. Awesome. Good job. And now we can focus on the face, which means the skin color. So for the skin color, I'm gonna use five tones. Again, if you don't have them, you can use three tones. Okay, at least three tones for the face so we can get a nice blending. So first I'm gonna start with the brightest tone. Just fill the entire area of the face and again coloring in the direction of the shape, that's important. The second tone will be a pale purple pink something and again because the light source will come from the right side, the left side will appear darker. Next tone we use will be darker. As you can see, I didn't color all the left side of his face. I just left an area on his cheek because the cheek has a bulge, which means it will get more light. And now you can see me add some shade the shade that comes off the veins that will help us create that 3D effect. Awesome, next I'm gonna use the same tone just to add more layer. And then we'll do some blending. Awesome, now I'm gonna use an even darker tone, that's V95, and we'll just add some more layers. As you can see, I'm adding some shade, the shade it comes off from the veins on the left side. And then we'll do some more blending. So as you can see, I'm just adding the colors, blend them, add more layers, blend them and add more layers until I get a very nice look, a smooth look if you will. Awesome! So once we are done with the face, we'll move to the mouth. We're gonna use a flesh color. And we'll use a darker tone to create some shade. And of course, blend it. 
So the teeth will do the same process, only with gray colors. And now we'll use some red tones to color the cut below his eye. So I'm gonna use three colors for that, three tones. We'll start with the bright red, then add the mid-tone. The darkest tone right below. And you guessed that right, we'll do some blending. And I think the mouth should be a bit more dark, so I'm gonna add some more layers. Awesome! Now we can move on to the veins. So, the left veins are purple and the right ones are green. We'll start with the left ones. We'll use a bright purple and just fill all the areas. Next, we'll use the mid-tone to add more depth, to create those nice shades, because we want the veins to pop up a bit. In the anime, they colored it uh, flat, just because of the animation. But this is a still image, so we want to have some more depth, some more details. So I'm gonna use more shades for that. Blend the colors, of course. Add some more shade with the mid-tone. And we'll even add more shade from the veins and that way they will really pop out. Next we'll use an even darker purple tone, that's BV04, as you can see it goes up, we got BV00, BV02 and BV04. As you can see it's all about the details, the more I add the more detailed look I'll get. And I'm using the same colorless blender again to create some more highlights on the veins. Awesome! Awesome! We'll do the same process for the green veins. The exact same process. If you look at your top left, you can see the exact number of Copic I'll be using. And now that we are done, we can work on the torso, on the neck. So we'll do the same process as before. I'm gonna start with the skin colors. Gradually add the layers from brightest to darkest. Then do some blending. And after that, work on the details of the veins. So guys, the same technique we did for the veins on his face, we'll do on the veins on his neck. Okay, we want to drop a shadow from the veins, that way we can make him look 3D. And then we want to color the edges of the veins to make them look more detailed.
awesome so no more veins we are done with the veins and we can focus on the shirt so this is gonna be easier we got the gray tones I'm gonna use some different gray tones from the hair just because I want to separate the hair from the shirt however again if you don't have those don't sweat it just use the same gray tones you have so just like before I'm gonna start with the brightest one that's N1 again I'm coloring with the direction of the shape as you can see Then I'm using the mid tone that's N3 I'll do some blending with the brighter stone And I'm gonna use the colorless blender to blend the brighter stone And we'll use the darker stone again to add some more saturation Awesome! We are not done yet Next I'm gonna add some blood We'll add some blood coming out of his mouth We'll just use one marker for that And to finish up I'm gonna use a white pen to create some highlights on the eyes And we are done everybody this is how you draw Ken Kaneki with a cancer cell I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this tutorial congratulations if you made it this far please let me know what you think about it in the comment section tell me how you did also make sure to leave a like to support my channel and if you want to see more tutorials make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe I'm uploading new videos every weekend that's it for today thanks a lot for watching keep being awesome and i'll see you on the next video peace <music>